and welcome back. So you just got your super box and you're like, things not working. I don't know what to do. I don't know why it's not working. How do I fix it? Now I've had a few videos like this where um, people are confused on how it works. Just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown, some troubleshooting issues to go. If you guys are brand new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Um, and then if you guys are a uh, returning subscriber, welcome back. If you guys want this product, look in the comment section and the description section below, and I'll leave a link to it. And if uh, you want the one that I got, shoot me an email, rojasentertainment at gmail.com. So first thing I would do if this thing is not working is I would come here to this little gear icon at the bottom left, click on this thing, and I'm going to hide my face real quick. Make sure your network and internet is connected. There is gonna be a little Wi-Fi option here that's turned on. And if you scroll down a little bit, there's gonna be an ethernet connection. If you do click on ethernet, it's gonna say not connected. Make sure it's connected to either or. I've noticed sometimes that when you are connected um, via the Wi-Fi, it might, it might kick off, it might not kick off. So, Easiest way of testing this out, go to the bottom of that little, uh, the little like, I don't know if that's a gauge, I guess. If you click on that, it's going to take you to speed test, or it's going to take you to test or fast. Dot, I don't know what's taking you, fast.net or fast.com or whatever it is. This remote sometimes works, sometimes it doesn't. Fast.com, and it's going to check your speeds right there. So I'm not going to go through it right now, um, but it's going to open it up, check your speeds, going to connect to the internet. Um, you could also go to browser and check that out too. So next step is on the bottom, you see that little face? Click on that little face on the bottom left-hand corner um, right next to the FN button, and it says customer service online. Pause the screen if you need to, take a screenshot if you have to, or scan the code that you see on your TV right now. Online support is the next thing that I would do. Go to online support. It's going to send you there. They're going to ask you for your MAC address and all that stuff there on the bottom corner of your screen. Um, do all that, and you should be good to go. Um yeah, it should be pretty simple when it comes to that. You go to online support and they will help you as much as they can. Um, and if they can't, go to the next one. What's app customer service? That's the third option. Go there and uh, put in that number and then tell them what your issue is, if, it, if it's offline, why it stopped working. Um, and then the fourth option is I would contact whoever you bought it from, if it's from Amazon, if it's from a different website, go to their website and email them or go through their service and see what they can do. Now from what I've noticed is sometimes the services that they have or their device will go down and that's just the nature of the beast. If it goes down, give it like 10 minutes, give it a couple minutes, um, check to be sure you're online to see if it does work and if your device is working and everything looks good you're like on youtube on on the device i know i have some people that say hey i'm on youtube and i have no issues and whatever it is it's fine you can't compare youtube to to disney plus you can't compare disney plus to blue tv you can't compare those apps because they're all different servers you just have to get to the point test and make sure that your stuff is working first and if it's not, then you start troubleshooting one at a time. And if it's blue that's not working, those are the steps that you take. If this device isn't working, those are the steps that you want to take. So I want to give you guys just a quick video of going through the steps, how to troubleshoot. It's pretty simple and easy. Um, and this could be done with pretty much any device, not just with the Superbox. I know Superbox is a very, um, it's a hot topic right now when it stops working. It's been happening a lot more recently. Um, I hear this new one, the S4 is great. And it's been working pretty solid. So I wanted to be sure you guys have this video so that way you guys could go through the follows, through the steps before you follow through with wherever you got it from. That way you troubleshoot all your stuff because the first question they're gonna say is, did you unplug it? Did you check your internet? Did you check your ethernet? Did you check if you have a, uh, any kind of connection with another app or within the web browser? You wanna be sure you're, you could say, hey, I already did this, 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 this. 
is there an update that you need to do or do you need to activate my box so sometimes that happens that's how you do it yeah leave me a comment below let me know if you guys have had any kind of experiences like this i know i did a video in the past and i had a big turnout that said yes it was crazy but they fixed it so let me know yeah with all that being said you guys take care take care of each other see you guys in the next one Thank you.